Hey ladies and gentlemen, I'm Lisa Concepcion, certified professional love life coach, founder of lovequestcoaching.com where you can go get a free love life assessment done by me for you. And today I am talking to you guys about booty calls. <gasps> is your booty call blocking true love? Yes it is, and here's why. So, a lot of times I get people who write me, reach out to me on social media, reach out to me right here on YouTube, what have you, and they say, Lisa, oh my God, more than anything, I want a serious relationship. I'm ready, I'm ready for love, I'm ready. I want the real deal, I wanna be married, I wanna be with somebody, I wanna be in a relationship, I wanna be committed fully to someone, and I don't have them to be committed to me, and I wanna love them, and I want them to love me, and I wanna just love this love, and so much love, and oh my God, and then I say to them, Okay, this sounds amazing. I'm so excited. Um, tell me more. Like, what is going on with your dating life? And they say, well, I kind of have this friends with benefits thing and these, like, booty calls and stuff. And, and I'm like, what? Okay. So, lovelies. If you want to have a serious relationship, you need to behave as someone who was ready for and wants a serious relationship. And here's why. So, law of attraction, it's a thing. It responds to how we feel, what we're doing, what we're thinking, and what we're saying. So when we say, I want love, I want a relationship, I want to be committed, but then our actions are not in accordance with our words and we're going in a booty call and we're loving the fabulousness of a booty call because it's so spontaneous and maybe the booty call can turn into something serious and who knows and da 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 the universe only serves up more booty calls and people who are not committal and people who are shady and people who are just kind of stringing you along to make you think that they can change Okay, can't do that. So here's the deal. This is what I did. I'm gonna share my story with you, right? So that you can see how serious this is. When you make a declaration to the universe that this is how this is gonna go down, the universe pays attention and rewards you with a manifestation of what you want. So four weeks, one, two, three, four weeks before I met my now boyfriend of three and a half years, I took myself off dating. Everything, nothing, nothing. I was like, you know what? I was dating. I was attracting younger dudes who just wanted fun. I was attracting all these guys who just wanted friends with benefits and booty calls and oh, let's go out and party and have fun. And I was ready for the real deal. So I said, you know what? Let's just wipe this energy clean I am going to not accept any more dates with any of these people. I am going to bid them all farewell. I am going to wipe the slate clean energetically. And I am going to have a little conversation with the universe. At which time I said this. I said, universe, I am ready for the real deal. I value my heart. I value my mind. I value my soul. I value my body. I am a divine child of God and I am worthy not because a man says so, but because God says so. So I am going to love myself enough to give this mind, soul, body to someone who I can love and who I think can love me. And I don't care if it takes six days. I don't care if it takes six weeks. I don't care if it takes six months. I am not giving my body, my mind, my soul, nothing to anyone intimately until it's someone who I think could love me and who I can love in return. And so when I started to say these things and I declared this and then took the actions that mirrored, that was a direct alignment with my words, four weeks later while having fun with my friends, out and about, looking cute, feeling good, I met a wonderful guy. So. What did we learn here? Our words are incredibly powerful. And when our words are aligned with our actions, we manifest. Also, feel great. 
cannot do this without feeling great. I was feeling great. I was fully happy and fine being single because I had belief that my wonderful guy that I had in my mind, that I had in my heart, existed out there for me. I believed this. And so when I declared it to the universe with belief and feeling good and confident that that guy was out there and I knew it and I wasn't really attached to the outcome. If I met him, I met him. If I didn't, I didn't. And I'm cool either way. That was the recipe for manifestation. I'm hopeful this helped you out. And if you want more information about me and the work I do for people to help them manifest love in their lives, you can head on over to lovequestcoaching.com where you will find a free love life assessment. I invite you to take it where we can then connect further on your specific love life situation. Thanks so much, you guys. Have a great night. Bye.